Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to show you how I do my everyday mermaid hair. It's become my favourite everyday li lifestyle hairstyle. It's super easy to do. It lasts quite a long time, a few days. It looks professionally done, beautifully styled and just looks really nice but actually it takes me no time at all, no effort at all and I just think it looks nice and I think for this hair length it's a really good really easy hairstyle to wear your hair down. I love curling my hair as you know however I feel like this doesn't damage my hair as much first of all second of all with curls it's so much maintenance you have to be really careful to make sure they last for ages well with this it's easy peasy and then afterwards you can put it up in a um, in a ponytail and it looks really good you can leave it down that looks good you can plait your hair and make it last overnight so yeah that's what I'm going to do in today's video. A little bit different, but I hope you enjoy it nonetheless. Before we get started, please make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe as well. We are growing so quickly on here, so please do subscribe if you haven't yet. Come and join our family. I upload three times a week, so you'll get plenty of content from me if you do subscribe. Give this video a big thumbs up and let's get started. So I'm going to do my hair using this mermaid tool. Did I just turn it off? No, I did not. So I was gifted this, um, this plant is like attacking me. Um, I was gifted this a few months back. I am not obligated to make this video in any way, shape or form. I was gifted this um, in case I wanted to use it. I have created this video, but an IGTV version of it, and it is my most popular video today. So I thought, let's introduce it to the um, YouTube world, and I will show you how I use this particular tool. So yes, this is from Mermaid Hair, and I will leave it linked. I will leave it linked down below so you can go and check it out for yourself. I know that you can get these from different companies as well. I know that uh, Mark Hill does one, and and other places I have seen them, and they all kind of do uh, the same sort of thing. Um, and the whole idea of them is obviously you've got this really big barrel that you clamp your hair with, and it creates this kind of a wave. You can do. A beautiful finger wave with this uh, for a more more vintage hairstyle which I have done before and it's worked really well um, and you can do like you can take little bits of hair and create this like kind of 90s almost like cr like crimped is that the word crimped 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 hair kind of um, kind of style or you can do what I'm going to do now which is which are these kind of loose curls that are super easy um really low maintenance and it doesn't matter how well you do them it looks good i also brush them out as you will see anyway but first of all let me brush my hair where's my hair brush now oh, there it is and as well as brushing my hair i'm going to pop some heat protector in my hair um just because it is good to protect your hair from the heat my hair is a little bit damaged i'm not going to lie there's been a lot of dying of it over the last few months as you know i went from jet black in december um to obviously this rather light blonde now so my hair has been through quite a lot so i do like to make sure that I help it as much as I can whenever I can. So I have been using this heat protector spray from Tresemme for absolute years and it's just my my go-to because it's it's a good price and also I love the smell of it. But if you know any other really good um, heat protector sprays, please do let me know because I would be more than happy um, to try out something something different. All right, so now that my hair is sprayed and brushed, I'm just going to make a parting where I usually like to have it. With this hairstyle, I like to not go too far down. It's almost like just to the side of middle parting. Feel like that works well for me oh okay so first of all this particular tool has an on button button in the middle and then it has two buttons on either side where you can go up or down with heat how much you want to use 
I'm going to do this on 190 which is hot but it's not the hottest I think it goes to 220 as you'll be able to see it doesn't take very long for it to take in your hair anyway now I'm pretty sure this is the way you're supposed to use it with the flat surface on the back of your hair however I've noticed when I do it this way it's much more prominent and it lasts longer and it gives it more of a vintage finish I think because it has kind of a deeper line so let's get started I'm just going to grab this first section of my hair and start with this if at any point I turn around and look this way it's because my mirror is over there and obviously I can only do this by looking in my either in my uh, viewfinder and my camera or this way so that's what I'm doing but anyway oh, this is the first bit so I put this in and then I kind of instead of I kind of push the oh I push the clamp up to kind of squeeze it a lot harder oh that already made a look that already made a bit of a den so on this first one I'm not gonna go too hard because I don't want it to be too too much and then I'm just gonna do one more at the bottom now as you can see it's not like it's not like super curly or anything like that what you have to do is you just have to be really careful you just let go of it and just leave it uh, for a couple of minutes because then the, as you can see like the cur the curve shows more in time I don't know how that works but it does so <laughs> oh. okay I'm gonna grab the next part of my hair and do the same thing so as you can see this is such an easy low maintenance super quick way of doing hair if you needed to do it before you go to the office it wouldn't take you long at all the tour heats up in seconds and I mean my hair doesn't smell like it's burning or anything like that it doesn't feel kind of matted afterwards so I'm gonna go ahead and say it's not that bad for your hair of course any heat is bad for your hair um, and it is damaging but as far as like the amount of different hair tools I have and I use this one seems to be pretty pretty gentle so I like to count usually to 10 with each piece of hair I do pow next bit so I'm not obviously doing this in any particular order I'm not like using a particular section of my hair the beauty of this is I don't think it matters too much I think you can create a really easy and effortless hairstyle because you don't have to be so precise well when I curl my hair I have to make sure that I take the you know a particular section of my hair that the hair is curled a certain way that it stays in there for a certain amount of time that I give it enough cooling time etc etc to really make the most out of it this I don't think you need to do any of that also on my Instagram I actually thought it was really cute um, a single dad has messaged me saying that he is a dad of a um, of a I think like a 10 year old girl or something like this and he said how this is an amazing tool for that kind of age girl because it's super easy to use so see it's easy for somebody who doesn't is not used to using hair tools to create a really pretty and easy hairstyle that looks really good so yeah I don't think anyone can go wrong with this to be honest okay so now I'm going to pin up the hair that I have already curled just using a, a couple of clips to do so just to get the hair underneath but that is my own silly fold I should have done it the other way around I should have actually pinned it up first it's okay we're here now there we go and I'm actually gonna pin this bit up now as well so I can get started on the bottom layer on the other of the other side so basically if you use this the other way with the flat flatter surface um, underneath your hair you will just get a bit more of a gentle finish this gives it that kind of a harsh line that I I personally like 
I'm trying to grow my hair out I have decided that after cutting my hair so I grew it out last year I'm sure that you guys will not remember this but I did grow it out quite a lot actually um, last year so yeah I grew my hair out really quite long and then I in the heat of a moment decided to chop it off don't get me wrong it was the right decision for me at the time and I'm glad I did it um, and since then I've been cutting my hair quite quite regularly. It has obviously grown a lot. It's been over a year, over a year now. Um, and I have cut, had it cut like six or seven times. But I have decided that I want to grow my hair long now. So I hope you enjoy your journey with me of getting my hair super long. Because I've never, apart from last year when it was the longest it's ever been, I've never had long hair. But the difference is that I didn't really do anything with my hair, it was just long. <laughs> so now I want to kind of learn different hairstyles and yeah, I don't know, I just feel like, it. also my hair was like brown last year, um, a kind of, kind of like a chocolatey brown colour. And this time it's going, to be, it's going to be blonde, so it's going to look completely different. And the only, I've had long blonde hair before, but it was always hair extensions. And I really want to grow my own hair because I have really a thick, um, like thick hair anyway. So I don't need extensions. I only used to use them because in, it, it gave me the length that I didn't have. And also it was back when everybody used hair extensions. So um, yeah, I'm really excited to see what it's going to look like. I'm just going to do this bottom bit again, just to give a bit more of a, okay, clamp. <laughs> That's it on that side, and now for this side. Yes, I'm pressing it forward just to really like, squeeze it in there, because I am using quite a lot of hair to do this. Let's see if I squeeze it, and then... It gets hotter quicker therefore it should curl more perfect and now do i want this bit a bit more curl curl to, no i think this is good okay i'm just gonna do the top part of my hair on the run, right hand side so we've got this little bit first so what you can do is what I'm going so what you can do is you can put it in the middle to just get a lot more of a gentle curl or you can do what I've been doing which is put it towards the top of your hair and then I'm kind of doing it in two sections if that makes sense so I do it there and then I do it lower down as well to get more more waves but as I as I'm going to brush it out anyway you'll see it will become a lot more loose and I like that it gives it just a bit more volume and I don't like like perfect hairstyles I like it when it looks kind of naturally messy if that makes any sense at all and I feel like this this tool allows me to do so so I'm just gonna grab the bottom bit of this and just clamp it one more time and now for this last bit do I want to do it in one go or two goes yes I think I'm gonna do this all in one go this is very hot to my so close to my face right now ah. and the last bit I'm just gonna pull this up to make sure that that shape keeps pow I'm going to make sure I turn this off first before I go burn in my carpet. I am also placing it on something else. I'm not just putting it down on, on the floor. Let it cool down. Um, I'm going to use this Design Me Hold Me Three Ways hairspray. It's very tough. I love the packaging. So pretty and um, pastel. Just pop that in my hair. It's a very, very... Um, like firm hold um, hairspray. And now on to brushing my hair out. So 
this this is still hot so i'm just gonna give it a little bit longer i feel like this is something that nobody teaches you when you're younger when you're curl curling your hair whatever it is that you're doing when your hair is hot leave it for a little while so it sets which is why every time i do i curl my hair properly i always pin it and leave it for at least 10 minutes or so to cool down because that's how the curl actually stays in your hair for longer where i feel like people start fiddling with it straight away so that and that's why it drops a lot sooner anyway now i'm going to brush it out so you can see what i mean look at that now we have this super gentle really feminine and a kind of just just a very i don't know how to describe it just a really easy way of styling your hair i'm just gonna finish it off with this oh, hay fever seriously oh every morning and i'm just gonna finish this look with this tony and guy classic cool defining cream i'm gonna sneeze again no apparently it's just gonna make me feel like i'm gonna sneeze but i'm not actually going to sneeze this product it's amazing it's such a good price i think it's about five pounds it will last you for actual years i'm pretty sure i haven't bought this in like two years and i've and i use it most days I discovered it about four years ago you can just use a tiny little bit of it it smells it smells to die for and what all you have to do is just put it on the parts of your hair that you want defining and shining so obviously for me that'll be my ends because those are the kind of tired and um, matte bits so it just makes it makes your hair look healthier it honestly makes your whole head smell incredible like you've just come out of a salon and you've just had a professional blow dry and it gives your hair a beautiful finish so i use this on whatever i do to my hair i always always put this at the end do you do you remember when tony and guy were all the hype when it comes when it came to hair care i feel like nobody really talks about tony and guy anymore i still really like the products i still use i use the sea salt spray and i use this a lot and the hair sprays actually i feel like they're not they're not as popular anymore there has been so many new companies that have come about since then also this is really good to put there when i have all my baby hairs that go absolutely crazy and stick out every direction this helps me to maintain those and tame in them most importantly so they don't so I don't look like I have had an electric shock and my hair is all like sticking up <laughs> and yeah that is it this is the finished hairstyle let me know your thoughts let me know if you like it let me know if you have used one of these tools before and if you like it or if you want to and um, if you if you have any other questions please leave them in the comment section down below before you go please make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you haven't yet please do subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye